Okay, I'm filming on a older camera, so I hope the quality is still okay. But I'm back working on this project. I haven't touched it for a while just because I've been so busy with other things. But today I'm going to make the pattern for this jacket and maybe the pants. I'll see how I go. But I thought I would show you how I go about making patterns and everything. I hope I'm in focus and I hope this camera is actually on me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I thought I would show you how I make the patterns and everything. So I'm setting up a camera um, to kind of show it all. So like camera is going to sit over there and then I'm going to show you what I'm doing and I'll also probably film a bit of stuff on this camera as well to kind of, I don't know, explain what I'm going through and the steps I'm going through. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, oh, get past here, um, I've got bodice and pant blocks, so I'm going to be working with the bodice block for the jacket of course, and I have some notes from uni which I'm just going to use as a general guideline because um, there's some stuff like the collar which kind of needs notes for, and I'm going to be working on the stand as well um, just to get the measurements of like where I want everything to sit so that it looks proportionate. Um, and yeah, and excuse me because I'm going to be eating my lunch um, during this video. So yeah, I will get this camera set up and show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got the image, I've just taken it off the board so that I can have it next to me um, and get a better look at it all. So I'm going to keep this just next to me here. Um, the only things I use in pen making are pencil, sharpener, eraser, and then my French curve and this really long grading ruler. Um, so it has like all the little measurements on it and everything. So I'm going to grab the pattern pieces that are here. So this is the back and then this one is the front. So I'm going to trace out the front. Oh, sorry, wrong way around. This is the back this is the front. So I'm going to trace out the front here and I'll leave the back for now because um, there's not going to be as much detail in the back and focus on the front. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this dart down here because if you look at the image I want to have just one dart. I'm also probably going to take out some of the shaping um, just because it is a jacket so it doesn't need to be very tight. Um, I'm probably going to like drop and move out the armhole a bit um, just so it's a little bit larger so that obviously then like a shirt can fit underneath it comfortably. Um, I'm then going to alter the neckline to add the collar in um, and yeah I think that's basically it. Oh and add like a button wrap for the button um, and yeah and then I'll make the sleeve. The sleeve's just going to be a really basic sleeve um, and then the back is going to be really similar. It's going to have like the two darts um, and really basic shape. I do want it to kind of like come in at the waist so and then come back out. This bodice finishes at the waist so I'm going to just kind of bring it out and do that by eye um, because I feel like that's kind of the easiest way to do it. So yeah that's what I'm going to be doing and I have got that camera set up now um, so that hopefully you can kind of see it and work out what I'm doing a little bit. Okay, so I've just like dropped down and then moved out the armhole one centimeter. I'm just gonna add one centimeter basically all down the side, but I'm just gonna get the length that I want it by using the mannequin and the measuring tape. Um, this just means that I kind of get more realistic proportions. You can always just like guess with your ruler and I don't know, like look and be like, okay, yeah, 50 centimeters looks good, but that can be hard to really gauge like how much that is actually going to sit down on the figure. So it's always good to have a mannequin with you just to double check or even look at yourself in the mirror with it on. Um, so yeah, if you see me in the other camera like looking over here with the measuring tape, I'm usually just trying to place um, something or get the proper length that I want it. So um, as you can see, I have this old twirl on here. Um, but I'm probably just going to be getting the length and then also where I want the button placed um, off here 
and then maybe where I want the dart to finish, something like that. And Okay, so what I've done is just trace off this front piece, which has got the collar on it. So I've just traced it off in one piece so that I can kind of see what it's looking like. I'm pretty happy with, I guess, the general shape, but it's a bit faint. There's kind of like the line where this comes in. I feel like this needs to come in more, and this one needs to come out like that so I'm just going to mark it on there that's where I like having the mannequin with me just so I can kind of see a bit better uh, just like that like what's going on and I can go back and double check things like this um, just by tracing them out so I'm going to then copy these lines back on to this piece so the front is pretty much done. Um, I'll definitely have to twirl this up to check that everything is going to work out. And then we've got the back as well. Um, the back is pretty simple. I'm just going to add a vent to the um, you know, center back. And then the dart's pretty simple and everything like that. So it's coming along pretty well. Um, I'm going to twirl up with the front and the back just those two, just one side um, first, just so I can make sure the shape and everything is okay. And then I will twirl it up with the sleeve and then also the lining. So the reason I do the twirl with just the front and the back is because um, if the front has like something wrong with it or something I want to change and I've already made the lining and already made the sleeve, then it's kind of such a waste of time because then I'm going to have to redo the whole front which means everything has to change in the sleeve and everything has to change in the lining. So if I do it kind of bit by bit and make sure that the kind of like outer shell is fine, make sure the armhole is fine, then I can go on with the sleeve. And then once everything else is all fitted and perfect, then I can make the lining to go inside of it. Um, so yeah, kind of taking it in different steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this line onto the collar here and then finish up the armhole a bit and then I will probably cut this out but I might have to do that on another day because it's getting to the late afternoon and I have other things to do. So we'll see, I'll probably finish this over. Okay, so I've traced out all of these pieces. So I've got the front piece there. I've got the two collar pieces because the under collar has um, a little like dip in it so that it knows to fold there. Whereas this one is just on the fold. And then the back piece as well. And then this one is the front facing, which will actually be cut in like a silky lining kind of fabric because that's what it is on his jacket. Um, so I'm gonna cut all of these out and then put, cut them out of fabric as well. And I'm gonna copy on all of these lines just so I know exactly where I need to fold it and where all of the kind of like key lines of the body are. Cause like this is the waistline and like that's the bust so that it all matches up. So I'm gonna go ahead and
day two, that's why I look a bit different. Um, I just come back from gym, so excuse me, no hair done, no makeup done and all of that. But I've got the calico out and I'm going to be in cutting out all these pieces and I'll mark in also all the body lines just to check that it's fitting properly. And yeah, and then I'm going to sew it up. So I'll probably check in again once it's all sewn up and everything. Okay, so I've sewed it all up. I've just put in um, a shoulder pad that I had spare. This is the wrong type of shoulder pad, um, but I just wanted it there because there will be shoulder pads in the finished one and I want it to sit more like it will. I'm only gonna put like really thin shoulder pads, so I'm proud of this thickness, but this is the wrong style. Um, I'm really happy with how it's sitting. Kind of like comes in at the waist nicely, but it's still loose enough that I can definitely fit like a shirt and um, the vest underneath as well. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the fit of it and I'm really happy with how this collar turned out. I accidentally sewed it on the wrong side actually. You can see the stitching is on the wrong side, but I mean, that doesn't really matter. The general fit is still there. And then it kind of comes in just above the waist um, where it buttons up and comes out. And it's just with the skirt that I made a little while ago. But I'm really happy with how this has turned out. And yeah, I think I'm gonna continue on and make the sleeve and then do the lining pieces as well. Um, but I'll probably do them another day and then um, show you what it looks like with all the finished pieces. And then I'm probably, after doing all of that, I'll check if the pieces fit on the fabric that I have. If they don't, then I'm going to need to get new fabric. I think I'll have to because I want them to match the pants. Um, so I'm gonna, but I'm definitely gonna make the jacket first, I think it's gonna take the longest. And it's kind of, I think it's a more important piece. Um, and then probably the vest I'll make next, and then the pants, and then the shirt. Because I think that's kind of, like if I don't get time to make the pants or the shirt, I can buy something similar. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I don't know if this video is gonna be very long, I don't really know what I'm doing with these videos. I just figure it might be interesting for some people to kind of see the process of what I'm going through to make this. Um, especially seeing as I'm not just like finding them at an op shop or anything. I'm actually like creating myself. So um, I don't know, I thought some of you might be interested to see the process it goes through and maybe like you might get some tips on how to pattern make it all or something. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, all of that stuff. And I will see you next time which will hopefully be next week because I'm hoping to get this done soon um, where I will have hopefully the complete toile done and be ready to begin looking for fabrics and begin making the vest as well. This is very off topic. Look how cute my new baby is. Oh isn't she gorgeous. Sleeping on chair while I go and sew.